Corey Merrill, freshman, right-handed pitcher from much of Louisiana. Corey, talk a little bit about why you came uh, to Tulane here. Um, I kind of just fell in love with the place from my, when I came and I visited with um, Coach Gotro and Coach Suter, Coach Jones. They were just really made me feel like I was at home and I love the place. What are you planning on studying here at Tulane? Um, I'm studying business management. Class is going well so far? Yeah, that takes a little work more than usual, but uh, it's, they're going good. Good deal. Uh, what are your goals personally and, and for the team this year and throughout your tenure here at Tulane? Well, uh, team goals, I mean, obviously I want to make it to the College World Series. And uh, individual goals, I want to just be the best player I could possibly be. And you're one of 19 newcomers to this, uh, to this class. Just talk a little bit about working with these other guys and how it's been so far. Oh, they're great. I mean, everybody's getting along really well, and they're almost like brothers already to me. And how's it been working with these, uh, these returning kids? Oh, I love it. I mean, they all ask any question, they tell you any answers give you everything you need to know, kind of like a role model. Perfect. Uh, let's see. You, uh, you were a member of the uh, LHFAA state championship team during your senior year uh, last year, and you were huge on the mound and, and at the plate. Just talk a little bit about, you know, the feeling of, of winning a state championship. Um, there was really no other feeling like that. It was just one you'll never forget. In the atmosphere, everything was just something you don't usually see. Now, during last year, you batted 390, but you were also 4-1 and one on the mound with a pretty low ERA of .70. Just talk a little bit about what you prefer to do, uh, hitting or pitching. Oh, I definitely prefer pitching. I'm a lot more confident with pitching. I mean, hitting was fun and all. Enjoyed it in high school, but I knew, like, I, college level, my hitting wasn't that great of an ability. Who's your favorite professional baseball team? On um, the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, I love them since I was young, ever since Mark McGuire was playing, everything. And who's your, fa who's your favorite player be? My favorite player would have to be Chris Carpenter. I just love the way he pitches. Okay. Uh, who do you look up to athletically? Um, my papa. I look up, he showed me a lot, taught me a lot growing up. And uh, right before my senior year, he passed away in January and we had dedicated the season to him. So it was kind of a, a emotional year for me, and, but I give all the credit to him. And um, what's your favorite baseball moment of all time? Um, Team-wise, winning the state championship, that was pretty awesome. But individually, that semifinal game when I was on the mound, it was just something I've never pitched in that atmosphere before. And it was just one I'll never forget. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, any kind of rituals or superstitions that you have. Um, I just never touch the foul line when I'm on and on, on and off the field. Yeah, that's a pretty common one. All right, you're from here. You're from this area. Let's say that I'm not. You're going to take me out to get some, some your, you know, your favorite dish in the area. What do you take, or what do you, who do you, uh, or what do you take uh, people to go get? Um, it's not a specific restaurant, but I would take them to eat some Buddha. I love some Buddha. Do you like any particular kind or? Uh, crawfish Buddha. Yeah, I that's what we're talking say. about the other day. Yeah, awesome. And last but not least, Corey, just tell us something that our fans uh, don't know about you. That I play golf. I love to play golf, um, and I know how to rap a little bit. Good deal. We'll get you to rap for us one of these days. <laughs> awesome, Corey. Thanks, man. Thank you.